What's going on, everybody? Uh, Chandler back again. Figured I would fill you all in, of course, on the uh, on the Project LTR build. Uh, we got the motor completely reassembled the other night. Everything went pretty smoothly. Um, of course, almost too smoothly. Uh, as, as those familiar with the LTR will know or be able to tell you, the, uh, the way you install the shifter itself and the orientation of the shifter pawl in what direction it's faced or how it's facing, for that matter, the shifter itself inside the case uh, will also determine whether or not it can actuate properly. And aside from that, the actual way the shifter pawl is installed, whether the little pawls themselves that are spring-loaded are, are put in, the, in the, uh, the correct direction. If they're the wrong direction, they'll actually seize against the side of the case and won't allow the shifter to move, um, which I figured, of course, out. I figured out pretty quickly. Um, nonetheless, I had a couple questions asking us, of course, how this works, um, what the shift pin relocating kit does, and exactly how it functions. So I figured the easiest way to, to explain this to people would be to show you in a quick video. So, of course, someone asked me, well, you know, when you shift gears, exactly what's happening. Well, you have a, a shift drum on the inside, the, the, the uh, two innermost clamshells of the case that looks like this. And as you can see, it actually has some, some grooves and everything on it that allow the, uh, the shifter forks themselves to, to rotate and be guided by this drum as it rotates. So essentially, this sits on the inside of your case. And on the outside of it, of course, you have the outer drum, um, which is attached to this piece here. This is your shifter pawl. On the inside of your shifter pawl um, is the uh, inner drum, rotating drum, that attaches to the end of this externally from the out inside of the case. Nonetheless, this piece sits on the inside, and your shifter fork, as I'm sure everybody has seen, look like this. And they have a little nub on the end of them right there, as I'm sure you can see. Well, this nub, what it does is it rides on those grooves. So as this sits on the inside of the case, as you shift gears and rotate, it moves this piece around to change how it impacts the gears and slide different gears to engage each other, essentially shifting gears, of course. Um, so, you know, that kind of gives you a better idea of how that works. And uh, when it comes to the shift and relocator kit, as you can see here, there's a, the shift and relocator sits on the inside of this innermost case. Pull this off. All right. So you pull off that outer cover, of course, and you can you can see here this is your shift pin relocator. Now what this does is it moves the shift pin from the inside of the block where it's normally fastened on the inside of the actual case here, which I'll show you. You can see right here on the inside there, there's a hole with nothing threaded into it. That, of course, is going to be where your normal factory shift pin sits. Now what this does is it provides uh, two additional points, or I guess an additional point of rigidity for that shift pin so that if you do land on the shifter or for any reason you hard shift really, really hard, um, it doesn't break the inside of the case and cause that shift pin to flop off inside the, uh, the actual case. So as you can see here, this is your shift pin relocator and all it does is it moves that shaft from inside here to out here and uses this whole piece to reinforce it. So essentially you don't have this small piece of aluminum the inside of the case that's reinforcing it. Now we have this giant piece that holds all that in place. So, you know, that's essentially what that does. It allows a pivot point for your shift mechanism here, which is this piece here. Um, and that's all that really does is, is, is tie all this together, of course, and allow for, for more structural rigidity for this piece so that if crap does happen, you don't pay for it in the worst kind of way. Uh, but nonetheless, stand by. I'll have a little, uh, little time lapse of me tearing the gears out, obviously fixing this issue that I'm, I just described to you. And uh, again, I appreciate everybody watching. Thank you. Loctite to these parts is very important. You can see 